Hello everyone, this is Brian with Fiery Squirrel. I'm going to talk about this big painting I did of a bunch of sailboats. Paint a seascape, they said. It'll be fun, they said. They were right, it was fun, except at first, when I was looking for a base coat of white, I got disappointed. This is not white. That's like, it's, I don't know what did it see, I did not approve. So I put the cap back on, antique white, liar. Into the floor you go, lie there by yourself next to the minivan and the children's toys. So, okay, this one, see, this actually makes sense to me. Whatever that cream taupe, I don't know what color it is, but I liked it. Put that on as a base coat, and then actual white acrylic, just to make it interesting. I was trying to go for the sky here, so, you know, if it was going to be reflected in the water at the end, it needed to cover the entire thing. Threw on some amber, some orange, to try to get a bit of a sunset cast in the, in the clouds, and then some blue as well, so that, you know, we try to have some blue sky peeking through. Get this atmospheric effect to going. Kind of dry brushed it together. And then uh, onto the horizon line, the actual line of the ocean against the sky. I used tape. This tape was not good tape. Should have used the good tape, but I was in a rush. So, on with a mid-range blue and kind of feathered it down toward the bottom. And then I took the tape off and yeah, it was meh. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't level. It was off by about an eighth of an inch, one side to the other. So even after I went across it, you see me going across it there, totally defeating the purpose of the tape. I went back over it again with a dark blue and actually, you know, leveled it. I measured it and I, I made the line with a big old yardstick, which I apparently did not shoot video of. But that's what I did. And it, it worked out really well because that's actually the way it, you know, it actually looks. Uh, there's going to be a, a darker line of water up against the sky. Okay, so the hardest part of trying to get this convincing with the sailboats was to have the reflections of the sailboats underneath the boats themselves, that actual overlap, because when you're looking at boats on the water, that's what you actually see. The boats are on top of their reflections, which meant the reflections had to go on first. So kind of had to guess as to where the boats themselves would be and draw the reflections first, which kind of freaked me out. I've never really tried that process before. Uh, but then I put on these white decks for the hulls of the boats and then chose different colors for the hulls themselves, and it, it started to work. I mean, the, the hulls of the sailboats were on top of the, uh, the reflections, and it started to visually make sense. Uh, for the masts, save time and make a straight line. I just slapped a bunch of paint on the edge of a stir stick. That's what I keep scraping on the canvas there. Cleaned it up a little bit, you know, made it a little taller with a flat edge brush. Um, it was, they were kind of messy, kind of jagged, but they were going to get covered on one side with these sails anyway, so it didn't really matter. These sails I knew would be the focal element of the entire thing, so I kind of kind of punched up the color. The client did give me a, um, well, some inspiration. I did not come up with this out of my own head. Uh, the client provided something that was already out there and said, hey, can you make something like this? And I said, of course I can. How dare you question my artistic talents? And yeah, I had no idea what I was going to do, but it's one of these things that you just figure out as you go. It took some thinking. I, I sat and thought about it for a long time. Anyway, sales went on. Everything was looking great. Somehow, the colors of these sails seem to uh, entangle nicely with each other and kind of make sense. Last of all, the waves, the ripples. Um, again, to try to get this uh, to communicate some depth, just a little realism. Uh, basically, it was just slats of white and mid-range blue where they'd show up. Um, and they went over, once again, over the uh, reflections. And voila! It did look convincing to me, anyway, and to my focus group. You know, asked all my kids to come out and tell me what they thought. They seemed pleased. So, uh, decided to knock it off there before I 
made a huge mistake and negated everything I'd done because at this point it had been uh, six or seven nights of work with lots of coffee. There's a close-up. You can see kind of the color merging I did on the sails. And there's the final product waiting to be delivered to the client. Client was pleased. I was pleased. I got paid. Hooray. Thanks for watching this edition of Painting Sailboats at Night in the Garage. Hey, give me a subscription or look at my other stuff. Or don't. I don't care. Bye.